Yo, what's good? Let's check out the new episode for Slime Diaries. Logo reveal. If you want to talk about anime and manga, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Joe Freshest. Links in the description below. And the YouTuber things, like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. And if you want to check out any of my other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to the playlist with all of those Slime Diaries reactions. As I've said, Many times before, Slime Diaries is just a chill, laid back version of uh, Tensura, except it's more about the small moments, giving the characters a little more character. So there's no main story or anything like that. It's just little stories for each character to give you a little taste of uh, who they are in terms of their personality. That and the interactions between them really makes this series just like a fun, lighthearted, like holdover <laughs> for for this in-between season, between uh, season two, part one, and season two, part two. Something to do with eating. <laughs> That's funny, dude. That's funny. I've never, I've never dealt with like fresh snow, you know? I've only seen like snow that's been around for a while. Okay, so that's cool that they, they said this because I've never seen fresh snow like that. Like, I don't know how soft it is. Like, they make it, people make it seem like, like fresh fallen snow is super soft. You can just jump in it and it's like a cushion. I've only seen snow one time. And it was old ass crusty snow, and that shit was not soft and easy to deal with. That shit was hard and slippery, and um, I definitely didn't bust my ass. Damn, that's a lot of snow. What the fuck? There's snow walls. He was hiding. Oh, this is from when he jumped in. Oh my god, dude. He was in there the whole time. Wow. That's disrespect. A dumb kid like that? <laughs> Dang. Yo, Riru Loki, he be saying some really disrespectful shit to Shion. Or about her. Oh, that's nice. Yay! So much shoveling to be done. That man is tired. He is not fully awake, I'll tell you that much. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, anything better than having to train with, with the fucking demon. And how are people going to get out of their houses? There's so much snow here. What are they going to do? Mm, that tea look kind of good, though. I ain't even going front. <laughs> In the shadow. <laughs> this man's looking at him like, y'all dumb, bro. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, is that supposed to be the two of them? It is them. <laughs> Look at them. What, the demon? Damn. <laughs> he's, he's, he fucking hates his life. <laughs> That's funny, dude. I love it. Oh, are they throwing snowballs? <sighs> oh, no. Jesus, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Who the fuck? Milium! Bro, you got no chill! Jesus. 
Jeez. Milam got no chill. Who the hell is this little um thing that she's making? What is that? Like a little fairy? Hmm. That's an interesting way to look at things. He's gonna get his ass whooped. He deserves that, dude. I don't know why he's such a dumbass, bro. He'd be saying some dumb shit. What is she making? It's kind of cool. Give it a little smiley face, though. Mmm. Damn, that look good. Yay, igloo time. That's sick. I'm trying to make this in Florida. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> impossible. There's no snow here. Damn. What the fuck is this? Bro, you went, this is so extra. This is so extra. She's gonna start melting right now. Oh, this is like a real wholesome and shit. Something's gonna happen to d holes. <laughs> I like how it like, kind of looks like Kirby. Just a little bit, dude. What are those, like marshmallow? Are they like bread? Like I'm, I'm Confucian. What is it? Geld moment? Is this a geld moment? I knew it was a geld moment, dude. Gotta love a geld moment. You carry your brothers on your back. No man left behind. Or, never mind, I guess he's dead. Damn. Aw. Aw. Geld. Oh, there's a little igloo right there, dude. Really? <laughs> Dang, bro, I'm trying to I'm trying to live in Tempest, bro. If I get if I get reincarnated, can I be reincarnated as like an ogre in Tempest, please? Like that'd be sick. Okay. Oh. That's interesting. This man so I got his own. <laughs> okay, so I see you, dude. Oh man, chilling. <laughs> I love it, dude. Oh, the kitty. I love it. I love it. I love it. I just I love it. I love it. <gasps> Mulan. So this is sort of moving into the season two territory. Just fucking everywhere, dude. I'm not a milk person. Better get used to it. In the weirdest places. Okay, I don't know about that one. <laughs> All of them simultaneously thinking the same thing. Dude, I love how long these episodes feel. They feel so long. Time to go to Trainee's place. He goes to Trainee's place a lot, right? I swear. Or maybe that's not where he's going. Dude, there's still so much snow piled up, dude. It's crazy. Can't Benny Morrow just like literally torch all this shit? I'm so confusion. More snow shoveling. <laughs> so what? This time, it, like he was just so captivated by it that he was just like standing and the snow just like covered him up. Okay, uh, we can sort of talk about these things, but for the most part, you know, I don't really have much to say about these. This is more or less the first winter episode, really talking about just snow in general. A lot of it is like winter activities. And just like we've seen before, we had summer activities, spring activities, um, we had fall activities. This is the winter activities. So they're doing like shoveling snow, having hot tea on these snowy days. You see the dogs having fun in the snow just like dogs would normally do. They're building snowmen, they're building snow Rimaru's. <laughs> Benny Maru is blasting the snow with fire, which he's just like, I 
can't believe this shit has come to it. This is what I have to do. Snowball fights. Milam obviously with no chill makes the giant snowball, like bigger than a person, drops that shit on Rimuru, obviously. Gulpta has to have his obligatory ass kicking for being like uh, perverted or or just like rude. I don't know, man. Gulpta, he is not good with women. That's, that's pretty obvious. Yeah, they made that little igloo thing, which is really cool. And they went way too like hard on how nice the inside was. Like they went in depth, bro, detailed. It was okay. We saw a little bit more from Geld, which, ugh, I love the Geld moments. That's my favorite. Geld, we see a little bit of his past, the trauma he's had to deal with, losing members of his orc community. And in this case, that's what he was thinking of. The snow can be so beautiful, yes, but can also be very dangerous. And like he's lost his family to the snow. And so he's out there with the kids and he's like making sure they're all safe. And he's keep trying to keep track of them and bring them back home. And <sighs> Geld's dude, Geld's the best like daycare uh, person ever, man. The best, I don't I don't know what to call him. Whatever they call like a daycare teacher. I don't know. Kind of what he is though. <laughs> he's always taking care of the kids. And we get the information on how there's a hot spring in the middle of the snow like this. like. There's no hot springs in Tempest, so it's got to come from somewhere else. And it comes from this uh, cave in the mountains. Basically, Rimuru with Soe used shadow maneuvering or whatever to bring, like, make a pipeline. So that way that water, that hot spring water, can make it all the way to Tempest. And then we found out that Soe's got his own, his own personal. Like, so it stops there at the place. And then Soe built a little pipe out. That goes to his house and he's enjoying his shit too. That was really cute. And then Mulan. So that's something I'm I'm kind of curious about. Now, part of me understands that the Mulan stuff and all that, the start of all that, being introduced to Tempest, introduced to Yume before being introduced to Tempest, that stuff was actually season one. But a lot of the events in like the second half of season one are like out of order. Like the second half of season one and the first quarter, I guess, of season two are really like out of order and like kind of jumbled up. It's just whatever we could do to make things happen. I think they just rushed it so that way they could end on a certain like high note instead of making things chronologically correct based on the manga and adapting it properly. Very weird. Or maybe not the manga, but the light novel. I'm not sure. I think it's the light novel that they're adapting, not the manga, whatever. So we see this stuff about Mulan and it sounds like she's already in the city. But if she's already in the city, that means she's already met Yume and stuff. I don't know. I'm a little bit confused on that, not gonna lie. So I think that this sort of ties into that sort of thing where she's met Yume and, and they're there in Tempest, I guess. Again, more or less, this is the snow, like first winter sort of episode for the series. And I think that the next one's gonna be another winter episode because we didn't see the winter sort of things ending at the end of this episode. We saw them continue. And it looks like the next one has to do with like Christmas, like Santa Claus and stuff. So I'm guessing that that's where we're going to move on to with the next one. We're gonna have like a Christmas episode, which is cool. I think that's, that's kind of nice. So from here, leave a comment down below on which of these different moments was your favorite. Was it uh, the snow shoveling stuff? Was it the hot springs? Anything with Soe? Was it something uh, when they built the igloo? Was it that? Was it the Geld moment? Was it the dogs in the snow? Was it Benny Maru dealing with the, the you know, the his fire abilities and the snow? Was it the snowball fights? Um, the stuff with Trainee and Gopta? Was it the stuff with the hot springs? You know, which moment throughout this episode was your favorite? leave a comment down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions as well as manhwa reactions and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoy. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.